Hello guys, this is Wallace, Poland's main toy dude. In today's video, we are going to do slightly different things than taking a look at a transformer. You see, my sister-in-law was recently in Japan, and coming back, she decided to bring a souvenir for me. And the souvenir was two gashapons, which I want to show you over the course of one or two videos, we'll see. Uh, before we start, we must understand what a gashapon is. Most of you have probably seen a gashapon in your life, you just don't realize it. Uh, basically, in major trade centers, shops, places like that, you've got those small vending machines that instead of giving off food and items of other kind, give you off small balls containing toys. You put a coin in, rotate a knob, and a ball with a toy comes out. You've probably seen a lot of these in your life. Being your kids, you possibly asked your mother for a penny to throw in, in such a machine yourself. But in Japan, it's slightly more cultural thing, and so it's also slightly more collector-oriented, which means these toys are slightly bigger quality than, for example, rubber teeth or this rubber hand that you can slap enemies with which results in things like this. This is the first of the two gashapon balls I have and I think in this video we are going to concentrate on this one because honestly I haven't opened it yet and I'm just going to be just as looking at it first time as you are. So, without any delay, let's see what we have here. Nice little ball with Japanese symbols on it. Also interesting thing, we have these little holes in the ball, which are air vents, which probably are designed so that there is uh, air circulation and so the toy does not get quality issues over lack of air or something like that. This is just my prediction. What do we have here? Blonde hair, blue eyes and something that looks like whiskers on cheeks. Well, this means my sister-in-law probably gave me a gashapon containing some Naruto gadget. I was a fan of Naruto for a time, but recently the manga is sort of getting, I don't know, too long for my taste, so I sold off my manga chapters. I still follow the comic, but not as actively as I used to. Oh, and I still have my art book from Naruto, which is pretty much awesome. Anyway. From the looks of it is going to be some little strap-on dangler, but we'll see in a moment. Let's open it. Hopefully that will happen without problem. There we go. Let's see what we have here. Yes! It's a Naruto dangler. For some reason Naruto is bare chested. Oh, tape. Oh dear. Let's see what you have inside for me. Where is it? Oh, here we are. Yes! A small GB happy slash excited Naruto with a strap-on, which I might use on my phone, possibly. So, it's a quite nice little thing, I say. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Judging by the pants, it's the Shippuden version. Yeah, might be a very nice hidden village of leaf, the Konoha protector. Small funny whiskers, cute. Bendy rubber. Overall, it's quite nice, I must say. Yeah, and actually might work with another thing I have. I think this is a gashapon as well. The odd Kakashi Hatake figure. I have no idea what this thing is. I think I'm going to do another video about it. So quite nice. Let's look what we have here. Oh, some nice thingies. Slightly a bit like a Kinder Surprise. This strange new technological photo code. 
Um, inflammation is all I've got here. Mm -hmm. Naruto Blood Prison. Oh my, so this is probably some new movie that I don't follow. So what we have here? Another product. Oh, and this is made by Bandai. That's interesting. I thought this was made by Tommy. But no. So what do you have here? Hmm. Sage Mode Naruto. Kakashi. Uh, Naruto's father, aka the fourth Hokage, whose name I currently can't remember. Sorry about that. And our friend, the Shikamaru. Yes, Shikamaru. In his Chunin uniform. So this is definitely Shippuden. And we have this weird clay element guy. I don't like him. He was just weird. Exploding art, really. And this figure. So overall there are six to collect. I think I'm going to be satisfied with one. And yeah. Cute little dangler. Not sure if I'm going to put it on my mobile phone, but it will look nice on my smaller figurine collection shelf in my room. So yeah. Quite a fun little souvenir from Japan for me. But there's one more uh, gashapon that I have that I will do in a few videos. Until then, see you and I'm going to try to figure out what this is and do another review, review for this. Until then, see you guys.